Hello everyone, this is Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So today in this video we are going to see the concept of data compression, right, and the types of compression that are being used in computing, right? So let's begin with the topic. Okay, so let me share the definition of data compression first. Okay, so here is the definition. It says that storing the data in a format that requires lesser space than usual, right? It means that what are we doing? We are basically storing the data in a format. It means we are changing the format of the data, right? In in a way that it requires lesser space. This is important. It requires lesser space than usual, or we can say that than the original. Right? It means, uh, for example, let's, uh, let's take an example in order to understand the concept. Let's suppose I have a text file and I want to compress this file, right? This is my text file and I want it to compress then what basically happens. The compression means that you are reducing the file size, right? For example, the original file is having 2 GB of data or having 2 GB space in order to store this file and after compression, right? The file size has been reduced to let's suppose 0.9 GB or in other words, we can say 900 MB, right? So let's suppose the file size has been reduced from 2 GB to 0.9 GB, right? Uh, when the file has been compressed, right? Then what, why we need it? The benefit, first benefit we have for this data compression is that the we, we need lesser memory space, right? Here, this file is having 2 GB memory and here we are having only 0.9 GB of memory. So the memory has been reduced. Memory or the storage that is being required in order to store the particular file has been reduced, right? The first benefit for this data compression and why? It has been used for the second reason uh, because it also minimizes the time, right? If we talk about networking or communication, then if I would transferring this particular file from one computer to another, right? If I would transfer this file, it is having 2 GB of data, right? Uh, so it can take more time, let's suppose two hours in order to be transmitted, right? But when it has been compressed, since the file size has been reduced, now it is going to take lesser time to transmit, right? So maybe it is now going to take 15, 50 minutes only, right? Comparable to this, we have lesser time, right, to transmit. So this is why we are using data compression. Data compression is being used for the two reasons because it reduces the storage, the memory that is being used for the storage of this particular file, right? We need lesser memory now and we are having lesser time to transmit the particular file, right? The time to transmit has been reduced, okay? Uh, okay, uh, basically, Tra the compression means that uh, you are just removing the unnecessary information, right? You can remove unnecessary information, info from the file that is not needed or that is not helpful to you, right? Or in other words, you can also remove the redundancy. So it basically depends upon the format, right? It depends upon the type of format in which you are converting the file, right? In which you are compressing the file. That what is the method of compression that is being used, right? So the methods or the algorithms that are used inside the format defines that. 
that how you are compressing the file right it is basically defined under the format you are using or the compressing algorithm that you are using right so i hope the concept of data compression has been cleared why we use it for two reasons for reducing the memory size and for uh, reducing the time to transmit right since we are dealing with lots and lots of information nowadays uh, because due to internet due to social media we are having lots of information lots of content that is being um, constructed every day right and in order to store that particular data uh we need to have some compression or uh some compression techniques or algorithms we should there is a need to have such algorithms for the two reasons in order to reduce the memory size that can help us to reduce the cost right in other words we are reducing the cost of memory the cost and not just the cost we are also reducing the time to transmit right so that's why the data compression is a very very big need of today's time right so now moving towards the type of data compressions that are being used in computing right let's see that okay so the type in the type of data compression we have two types right the very first is the lossy compression right and the second one is lossless let's see both of them one by one okay in the lossy compression we use um uh, human perceptual shaping right what is that human perceptual shaping means that you are removing the unnecessary information that cannot be heard or that cannot be seen by a human right a human cannot see it or cannot hear it let me give you an example uh let's suppose uh we have a music that is having two sounds that are playing at the same time right if in a music we have two signals or two notes that are being played at the same time and this one is a higher note and this one is a lower one then the human ear is going to listen the higher one right so in this way we can remove that particular note or particular part of data that is not being he heard by the human right so this is the concept of human perceptual shaping in which you remove the particular data that cannot be seen or cannot be heard by a human right okay secondly the drawback of this lossy compression is the uh reduce in quality or in other words we cannot recover the original file right it means that when you have a lossy compression the file is converted into a different format right and you cannot recover this particular file let's suppose it's a 2 gb file and it has been reduced in terms of its size that is 0.9 gb now you cannot con convert back or you cannot recover this particular file so it's a drawback for this lossy compression but you are having lesser file size file size it means that you need lesser memory right in order to store this particular file right lesser file size means you are now having lesser memory or storage and meanwhile uh you are going to have lesser time to transmit right so this is 
all about a lossy compression, right? In a lossy compression, you use human perceptual shaping, which means that you can remove the data or the unnecessary data that cannot be here, cannot be seen by human, right? Similarly, you cannot recover the original file after the compression has been done, okay? The file size is lesser than this particular lossless compression, right? It means that if I am uh, compressing a file using lossy compression, then the file size will be lesser as compared to the lossless compression, right? The file size is lesser and it means due to this lesser file size, we are having lesser memory storage in order to store this, uh, this particular file and meanwhile, we are having lesser time to transmit, right? The time to transmit is uh, reduced, right? So now let's move towards lossless. Okay, so in a lossless compression, we can recover the original content or sorry the original file right if we are converting the file or compressing the file through lossless compression then you can can recover your original file it means what the quality is not compromised right quality uh, can be recovered is not compromised right here due to the lesser file size you are compromising with the quality so here you have a lesser quality and here you are having more quality of the file right because you are not co compressing the file too much right okay so uh, let's take examples or the formats that are being using that uh, let's uh, let me tell you some of the formats that are using lossy compression and meanwhile the examples for this right so here let's suppose i have mp3 for music and jpeg for images they these both formats uses lossy compression right and lossless compression the zip files that we use and the png format for images these are the examples for lossless compression right okay so i am just winding up this video i hope this video is helpful to you all the things are clear to you thank you so much for watching this particular video and in the next video we are going to see that how the text files can be compressed right using lossless compression right so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video take care bye bye